Now, what exactly is fatwa shopping? Fatwa shopping is when we go from one scholar to another scholar or one person to another person uh, seeking an answer to a particular question and it's usually until we hear what we think is best, or what we think is best for us. And a lot of imams have gotten that phone call at 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, a guy calls in and says, um, Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh, um, me and my wife, we had an argument and uh, I got really angry and I pronounced a divorce on her three times, like in a row. Uh, is this divorce valid? Is this, a, is, this a, is this a final divorce, what is called an irrevocable divorce? Or does this only count as the first divorce? And so the sheikh will give his opinion or the imam will give his opinion and depending on what he says, the brother's like, okay, jazakallah khair, that's what I needed to hear. Or, okay, uh, thank you. And then they hang up and they call the next sheikh or the next imam. Well, I heard it's a difference of opinion and so on and so forth and I heard there's an opinion out there that says that it only counts as one divorce. And by the way, I'm not speaking about the correct opinion here. That's not the point of this example, right? But the other person, the next imam, the next scholar says, no, I hold the opinion that these three divorces do indeed count as three divorces even though they were given at the same time. And the person says, oh, okay, you know, I heard there's another opinion out there. Let me, let me call another imam or another sheikh until they finally get to the person who gives them the opinion and says, yes, I hold the opinion that this counts as one divorce and you're okay. This is the essence of... Uh, fatwa shopping. Basically looking around until we find the answer that what we need. And now, we, this has kind of evolved with the, with the advent of social media and the access to knowledge and fatwa that we have online. It's, it's more so, and I've gotten this a lot, panel people call me up and before a question is even asked to me, um, I hear the opinions from the questioner. They're like, you know, I looked this up online, I asked um, um, this very famous, well-known sheikh, uh, one of the biggest sheikhs in the world, a sheikh al-mufti al-allama, Google, right? And I asked him, or I asked sheikh Google, and, and I looked around and I found that these various different opinions, and then the question that is asked to me is not, uh, what is the correct opinion, or what is the strongest opinion? The question is, which opinion do you follow? Right? And depending on that, maybe I may accept what you have to say or not accept what you have to say. And this is a problem because in the end of the day, what's actually happening here is that if we ask a question of, you know, we ask five different people the same question, and let's say we get two or three different answers, and then we leave it there and we say, well, now I'm going to make the decision in terms of which opinion I want to follow, in the end of the day, who becomes the final judge? It's not the scholar it's basically the person who is asking the question. And if they're a layman, well, they have to be because they're the one asking the question, then they have gone against what they're supposed to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of remembrance or the people of knowledge if you don't know.